What's up my fitness family? Guess what? Today I'm going to be sharing with you the best upper chest exercises. So my name is Brent Casper. This is BKPT. I'm super excited to share this with you. This is a big concern with a lot of my clients that I, you know, not only face to face, but a lot of questions that I get, um, you know, just online as well. So hopefully this can clarify some of this. I'm going to start with, I wouldn't say they're my least favorite, but they're my least favorite upper chest exercises, and then I'm gonna work to my favorite. So guess you gotta stay with me through the whole thing. Oh no. Um, so I'm gonna start off, and this is a typical one. Everyone pretty much you know, is aware of it, but it's the barbell incline bench press. And you can do this with dumbbell incline bench press as well. I like the dumbbells a little bit better, but um, the biggest thing when you're gripping your barbell is you wanna make sure when you grab it, your hands are like right at your elbows or outside your elbows, just a little bit. Um, you don't wanna be grabbing it in close like this because it turns it into too much more of a tricep exercise than it does a chest exercise. So you wanna get a good range of motion. You also wanna get a good stretch on that chest as well. So that way you're getting a good you know, motion with it. So it's out here. And if you can't get to your chest, it's not in the world. Don't like make yourself and force it and like hurt your shoulders you know, when doing so, you know, but just as you get stronger and as you get into that range of motion, you know, you're getting that as deep as you can. So incline barbell bench press, um, it's definitely hits those upper pack muscles. And you'll see this as we go on and I get more into the isolation movements, you'll see that upper clavicle, um, you know, that pec joint and it's, it's a good separation in there. So you'll be able to see the difference in that as well. All right, this is one you might not be aware of, but this is a great exercise. It's gonna be a dumbbell incline press, but we're gonna do it with a reverse grip. So when I say that, you're gonna hold it like this. So I'm gonna lay down on an incline press, and the goal is to squeeze those dumbbells together as much as possible. So you're squeezing them together and pressing up, but the biggest part of this is the actual squeeze. So I'm not a huge fan of chest flies, but you know, I, I know they're necessary. The reason I say that they are necessary is you do want to create that blood flow. It's not supposed to be a major power movement though, which a lot of meatheads turn it into. So it's not a power movement, but this, with that squeeze, you know, you're getting that cross body contraction. And uh, so you're squeezing those dumbbells together and just driving them up, squeezing the upper part of the chest. All right, so we have the dumbbell, reverse grip, presses. The next one's gonna be, you can do this with a dip bar, and I did bring over these equalizers, so that way you can see them both ways. Obviously, it's a little safer when you use a wall, but I'm just gonna use the post for the power rack. So you just want something to climb, so that way your feet are up, but you also wanna have the motion where it's a little more at a, in, in front of your shoulders. So you're gonna climb up, so you're right here, and you're coming down towards it, and pushing back up. So here, pushing back up. And if you guys can see, you can really start to see the upper part of your chest start to engage. And if you don't have these bars, you can do this from the floor. You know, the other one I was gonna show you is I have the perfect push-ups. You know, these handles are great for this. It uh, gives you some mobility with your wrist also, so if you want to change the grips on it. So it's here, and pressing more upwards and back towards that bar or wall, just like this. So those are great. Gives, you can use dumbbells as well to give you that, you know, that force. Um, and then I'm going to move into, this is a landmine. Um, you know, it, it, it kind of forces your hands and arm to be in the right position. We're gonna come right here, Alan. And you're gonna come out and around and up. So this is a, a landmine, one arm chest fly. And the great thing I love about doing one arm motions or exercises is that a lot of times I'll use my other hand to locate the part, the muscle that I'm actually using. So that way you can not only see it engage if you're using the mirror, but you can also feel it engage just to make sure you're hitting the right spot. 
because it's just a small angle variation. So, you know, if you aren't feeling it right, walking back a tiny step, making sure that it's, it's in that angle that you're trying to reach, that muscle you're trying to reach, you know, you're hitting that. So it's a landmine incline chest fly. Whew. All right. So this is one section. These are some of my okay, not my favorite exercises to do for the incline, for the upper chest, but I'm gonna take you to the cables and I'll tell you why the cables are some of my most favorite ones. All right. So I'm gonna start off first right here. Um, if you're not familiar with these, these are flex lines. These are like the best, I feel like, piece of equipment if you're going to build out your home gym. So that way it's, it's one piece. So these all come into separate blocks. So you don't need all of these. I just have it because obviously with my training facility. Um, but it's all done on air compression. So I'm gonna grab a plus and a minus. It's all with air. And you can go from as little as zero weight to up to 300 pounds of pressure um, pretty fast. So I'm gonna start off uh, with the upper chest fly. So you're gonna come like this, you're gonna lean forward, and we're going to just concentrate on hitting those upper pec muscles for a chest fly, okay? So this, like I said, it's not like a major power movement. This is something just to get the blood circulating, sometimes before you're going into a major power movement, so that way you're engaging those muscles uh, you know, ahead of time, so that way they get the most out of it. The next one is called a half moon. So you can do this with bands or with the cables. So this is not a heavy exercise either, but you're coming up and under, and then coming up and over top. Up and under, back and around and over top. <clears throat> now if you see this, I have the cables lined up with directly below my chest. So you don't want these down low or up high. You want them right where in the middle. So that's the half moon. Another great upper chest exercise. All right, and the third one, I'm gonna show you at this level before we drop to the bottom is gonna be a jammer. So it's an incline jammer, so I use it with a lot of my athletes, you know, because they're always popping, but this is a particular area that this is a heavier exercise. So you're here, and you're just in an athletic stance, and you're just jamming those arms out there, and you just gotta make sure you're feeling that in the right spot. Ah! But it's a great way, you can burn out, or it's a great way to get started going into your chest if you're trying to you know, build up your chest, your pecs. Whew. All right, you guys enjoying this? Now we're going into my favorite ones. So these next five are great upper chest exercises, and they're not only sometimes not known about, but forgotten about. So, all right, let's get started. So the big thing with finding that line of motion for your upper chest, so you wanna find that line and you'll watch in the mirror to find it, but you guys can see it's, and it's separated from the most of your major pec muscle, which is right here. So in the, it's the upper part of your chest. So once you find that line and you know exactly what you're working with, that's how you wanna line up with cables to make sure you're in that line to grow that upper chest, upper pec muscles. So I'm gonna start off, and all this stuff I do one-handed, and the reason is is so that way I can always hold the area, so that way I know exactly what I'm hitting, and I can feel it going there. So, and everything different. So, and you'll see I'm on a, a plyo box. You can use a bench, you can use anything. I just do this so I can kind of wiggle a little bit more to find the right area. So it's right here. So I'll move around, there it is. And then you can find that spot, and then you just kind of load it up, and this is that lying upper chest cable fly. And this is one arm. And you always want to cross that plane 
so you can get that good crossover motion and you can really engage that upper pec muscle. So you would set that down and you would roll right into the other side so you would find that same motion as well going into the other side. All right, then we have the incline bench press with the cable as well. So I wanna show you this. This is a fantastic one. I know it shows you the incline barbell bench. You can do an incline dumbbell bench. You can do those reverse grip dumbbell benches, squeeze them together. But when you hook that cable onto these and you're doing that and, and you're doing a press or any motion, it's so smooth and you have the, the weight engaged the whole time. So when you have dumbbells or barbells, there's a point where you're, you know, you're, you're using gravity. So sometimes it's weightless, you know, but it always has a different type of resistance along the way where something like this, I mean, it's steady the whole time. So you're finding that same muscle, that upper pec, and you're just pressing up. Same thing with that cable. It's fantastic because I'm going right past the center part of my chest. And I mean, you're really getting a great engagement and all those muscle fibers are firing. And see how slow and controlled? You always want to have a good lock-in on that. So it's like, boom, squeeze, you feel it, it's engaged, and relax, coming down with that negative motion. All right, so those are two. We have the incline chest fly, single arm while lying, and then the incline single arm cable bench press. The next couple are fun ones. <clears throat> and this is a crossbody uppercut. So it's an uppercut, but sometimes I'll use these as cardio and I'll have them in the cables and they're swinging away, twisting their waist, using their waist. But when I'm trying to engage the upper pec, so you have that same motion, you're, 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 you stay in the uppercut position but instead of twisting your waist and twisting your body, you're literally just coming across and up, coming across and up, and just engaging that upper pec, upper chest muscles, like you can see them moving. So that's the whole part is you know, looking in a mirror, Checking yourself out for good purposes to make sure you're engaging those muscles. All right, the next one and the last one is going to be an upper pec shrug. So you think of shrugs and you think of your traps, but this is a good way to hit that upper pec nice and heavy as well. And you can use dumbbells or kettlebells, um, but you know, we're here, I got the cables. I love the cables. So, and, and I can change the weight and make it as heavy as I want just with the touch of a button. So you're here and you're coming across and up. Coming across your body and shrugging up. Shrugging up. And you can see it's engaging tremendously. Ah! So these are all great upper chest exercises all of them and hopefully i gave you guys a great lineup to throw into your workout programs so that way you can really isolate and grow that upper chest giving you that nice pec muscle um and if you guys need help that's what this whole thing is about right so you know my seven figure body blueprint where i give you my accelerated pt method and my ignite meal planning system because it all kind of goes together you know that's kind of and, and you really want the best out of this you know, just reach out, DM me, re go to my blog post, and, you know, obviously sign up to work with me, and that way I can take care of you and you can get going in the right direction. But hope you guys love this video. So this is the best upper chest exercises. My name is Brent Kasman. This is BKPT. If you have not yet subscribed, definitely do so. Match that notification bell. That way you're notified as the new stuff's coming out, and I'll see you in the next episode.